Hi, we have just installed Arca Linux D. That's the one, 6.8.2, and we decided to put XFC on it. So that's how it works. You get one gigabyte of uh, ISO, you put it in, you download it, USB, you, you uh, boot up and you install everything and you end up in a black screen. Then you get your GitHub uh, scripts and you run them and you end up in a desktop of your choice. This was my choice, XFC and just XFC. That's the difference with Arco Linux, which has three desktops. Now, the video is about what can you do after a clean installation. I don't say you have to do it. I'm just going to share my workflow, my way to get everything back on my system. First thing off is, is I went to Vivaldi and I went to get my last pass, so I have all my passwords with me. And I made in this OneDrive, or uh, not OneDrive, but Google Drive, I made this Get Started folder. So each time I install a new system, we have here a lot of computers, lots of testing, you know how it goes, so everything out of the window. And then you want to be as fast as possible back on your feet. So the cloud services, any cloud service, Dropbox and so on, everything uh, can help you with that. We go to our downloads. If it's zipped, he needs to zip it. And then we'll get this information, what's in here. There are already a folder structure with all kinds of scripts are already there. So I want to have those. Okay, finally. And it should be downloaded at some point in time. Yes, save. It's a really first time, um, well, it's a version installation. I mean, just boot it up. I don't really like this wallpaper. So, Alt T, very nice shortcut to get something else, which is a little bit sci fi stuff, so that can stay. Right mouse click, extract this thing. This is my get started. I'm gonna move these guys. So really cut so I know what I've done. And I move it to my own uh, space. As you, as you see, there is already a data folder, which is actually wrong, Eric. This one cut, that's wrong. It should really be in another folder. So I was telling you that um, downloads get started these guys i'm gonna copy paste them over or cut them all like so like so in your home directory and i have this combination of files so these are all the github on article linux these are all the github on article linux b the b stands for build your own iso so you build your article linux awesome or your article linux bsp wm and so on this is what we're talking about article linux d so that one should go in here. And this is my personal github.com uh, slash Eric Dubois. So this is my getting started stuff. So what do I do? What workflow flow do I have after clean installation? I go now to this little thing because since 6.8.2, we have this little button and we say, just make it executable and update me everything. So he's getting every possible script out there that I've ever made on my GitHub. All my GitHubs are being downloaded as we speak. Each and one of them will come down. And the one that's interesting for me is this one, Arc Linux Nemesis. So that's the thing I'm gonna do after a clean installation. I have eight cores to my, uh, my uh, well, in my machine, my hardware, and I'm not using them. I'm using just one. So yeah, definitely want to use all the power I can have to have a fast AOR build and compression and all that. So I have now eight cores set, that's good. I'm gonna install some more software, which is ScreenFetch, which is already up to date thanks to being on Arch Linux D. Uh, it's not on Arch Linux, by the way. 200 is some more stuff which is already installed thanks to again the scripts on Arco Linux but some of the stuff is new 
like this Vivaldi snapshot is coming in. Extracting Vivaldi snapshot, fine. There were some errors, it's typically for the AOR, remember guys, Arch user. So it's a person who's making it, he's on holiday, can be sick, uh, updates can come along, he doesn't see it, and it's a broken link, and, and there you go. So sometimes we have to wait, and there was one at this point in time. You see, it's still downloading everything, and this is Marco Linux Nemesis. So if we rerun it, you'll see the mistakes that come up. And here is the update for Spotify, that's a problem. So Spotify is a problem at this point in time. Now, there was a guy on Discord, so hey, come and join us on Discord, you'll learn a lot, even me. And it says, try some Spotify. Do that. And then, Scroll up, I think it was 32 out of my head. Yeah, 32. It is flagged already as out of date. So that means that the maintainer who maintains this script, this package build, has already gotten a, uh, got a mail and said, hey, it's out of date, but he's on holiday, he's sick, he doesn't have time. And it stays out of date like two, three days, and then everything is fine. But if you can't wait, since I'm teaching here now, I take 32 and edit package build, it says here. Uh, let's see, let's make this bigger. This is not good for me to work this small. So, this is the package build. Okay, I want to edit this, I've seen what I have to do. Yes, edit. And the tip on this court was delete these lines. But hey, that's nice. Would it work? Yes, enter. And now you say, go ahead, enter, enter. And what do you know? We are installing Spotify. So sometimes um, the package build can be fixed by us. Sometimes it, it can't be fixed by us, but often, often if you investigate and be patient and, and try to figure out and read and if, yeah, be a detective about it, then sometimes you can really change the package build and there you go, 270 megabytes of it. So we're installing Spotify, the latest and the newest. Control alt s is the standard shortcut and it works, I've tried it on another machine already. So we have now, we run, we run this one and there was an error, maybe last thing I always like to teach you. <laughs> the last thing, remember that. This thing here is often, sometimes in scripts, it's like this. If it's like this and there's an error, it just stops. It halts everything and everything behind it is not going to be run. So that's why I cleared this like this. So everything would install and it would skip Spotify and it would install VirtualBox and Vivaldi Snapshot and also hard code fixer. So that's an important thing to remember. If it's set, if it's really like this, then it will just break and it will stop running the scripts. Okay, just so you know. Because it's AOR and AOR is always a little bit sensible. Sensitive is better word. And then 300 is going to install the funds. Yeah, we do need funds. Funds are making our conkeys nice, but unfortunately they have also copyright on them. So I'm not putting them on the ISO. I ran already my fix for the microcode, but if you don't need to do it, it's uh, when you boot up in a black screen and you see all these, this first line and error message, then you know, hey, I need to run this. So that's okay for me. And then something personal, maybe something you will not run, but maybe something you will make for yourself that you say, hey, that's an interesting idea. Um, that is that I'm gonna run these guys. These will make private folders that I'll use later, dot icons, dot themes, stuff like that. Now I should really do it like this, and then that one there. And take a look at these lines here. So all my folders that I always use, downloads, documents, music, add sounds, etc, etc. 
at the ETC scale, a very important one for us, right? So it's there. Just click and it's there. What else? We still have 300 to do. 300 is going to tell my system, hey, um, if you do Control Shift Print Screen, take screenshot, then it will be GPG. If I did not run this, you do not run this. It's a PNG. This is 200 kilobyte. That is 2 megabyte PNG. So yeah, important for me for the website. And then we have Firefox. Did I run Firefox? Let's try. So CP copy cannot create directory home Eric Mozilla blah blah blah. No such file or directory. So if you see this message, then you did not start Firefox. This is really a new computer, new setup. So once you run Firefox, then you have a folder. And if you have a folder, then you can copy paste stuff to it. So 400 is now done. It's for visibility, readability to be able to read uh, the colors. Well, the, the text input boxes and stuff like that. I'm gonna fix also the simple screen recorder. I want them to be like this with all mono and they're not. Now they are, I hope they do fix it sometime. And then the sublime text the same. Oh yeah, and then we have some, some um, something we'll probably, no, not sure, probably put in the ISO at some point in time. But when you shut down these days, we get these very nasty looking messages and this shuts them up so if we type 700 it's going to put shut down in a specific file and here you see already the file etc make in its cpo that's where it's going to put it we rerun everything and not this time when you shut down but next time when you shut down you will see that it's applied that's it basically that's what i do to get everything down and the same applies which i did not do same applies for Arch Linux. So right mouse click, make executable. Maybe best thing is to check it, the contents of that. Um, so <laughs> update, that's down, loading. And Arch Linux B, we can make it executable. Updating, what else? I think I forgot one, this one. So it's easy to get everything back in. This is GitHub working, right? So GitHub can be seen, can be used as a kind of backup system or drive or cloud service. And at some point in time, you'll learn more about GitHub and say, okay, it's a nice thing to work together and you can use GitHub more professionally. So everything is going to come in Everything is, is syncing. This is already synced and this is syncing. So everything is working. Two things are left for me. I do have a Dropbox account, which is going to go to Chromium, but in Chromium, I need to log into LastPass. I could also say, look, my preferred browser is not Chromium. It's actually Vivaldi, close. Then go to Dropbox again, sign in, and then we get again this uh, element here. So I'm gonna sign in, uh, so I'm gonna pause the video a little bit here and then come back. Okay, I've synced in, and there you go. We have now the possibility to... Should I take? All right, let's put it on google.be, there you go. So Dropbox is syncing, will be syncing, gonna sync. And we need also InSync, which is actually, you have to pay for it. So InSync is another possibility and it syncs with Google Drive. So you can do that as well. If you want to, I'm gonna log in as well here, pausing. I'm gonna show you what I have to do, but it's gone, I suppose. Too bad. So here is InSync. 
Uh, now the image is here. So change, I don't want this sync folder. And one of my scripts created a folder. So in sync, that's good. And then set a sync folder, got it. Next, 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 audio skip. And here it is. And we sync Arch Linux. I want to sync Arch Linux. I want to sync a little bit of music, music in the sense of that's something to test. That's music to see if everything works. On a new installation, that one, and what I share with the team. Apply. Yes, baby. All right. So everything is working and this is actually what I do. So this is my workflow after a clean installation, getting everything from the GitHub, getting everything from Dropbox, getting everything from Google Drive, done. All right, you see what you keep and what you um, find uh, interesting. All right, cheers.